Right. Hi, it's Court Goddess we, we for Chick Chats. We can go have dinner and then we got to be back here about 6.30 or 7 to get his signature. But that'll be a quickie. We just get his signature and then we can, we're loose again. But I got to get this thing done because this is our uh, 5013C thing. I know. Dang. Yeah, that's a big one. I know. Good job. Good job. Yeah. California rocks. Yeah. I think they should like, you know, dig up all the cement, make those people like live in high rises and start <laughs> growing our own food. I saw, Quit importing them, you know. <laughs> there's, there's one over here that says, save the planet, kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we want to get I the suicide was, rates I down. I thought that, yeah, but not veterans. I oh, think, right. Yeah, oh, no, right. All the tree huggers. Yeah, save the planet. <laughs> I was one kill of those, not a tree yourself. hugger. <laughs> yeah. These stupid plastic people out here that don't know that their freedom costs for a cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. There's there's one generation Americans that don't know what patriotism means because they're not teaching it in schools anymore. We don't even salute our flag, do we? I don't I don't know. I've been in yeah, but okay. you, what's funny is we start out our DAV deal with a pledge of allegiance. Well, I could say it in my sleep backwards because <laughs> all through grade school and junior high. <laughs> now, I think, I can't remember in the 60s in high school if we did it, but grade school. Oh, no. It, it we was We started there. out every day with a Pledge of Allegiance, right. right? Yeah, yeah. So I can do the thing in my sleep. And we do it at the Delta Veterans <laughs> Group deal, and I got to tell them all the words to it. And I could, you know, I didn't even have to see them written down. It's just, you know, it's one of those things that's just imprinted in what? your brain when you do it every but year for. Only in certain counties in America nowadays. Yeah, well, that, that's what I say. It's different now. Because you can't say. But from what I hear, you have a resurgence in your area of getting ROTC back in California. So Nevada is not going to be the only ROTC. They'll have more no, competition. No, no, no. We have we have a local ROTC. Yeah, they that's come down awesome. Here a junior ROTC. Yeah, and we it's, do, they smart do the kids go there. For us. Yeah, we do the flag thing for us. Yeah, you don't have to be scared if you know how to use a gun. You know how I know that this is, I say, the cheapest gun safety class you're going to have. Treat it like it's loaded. Oh, yeah. I was, I was like the deal in, uh, uh, what is it, Delta, For Delta Force deal in, uh, what is it, the one in uh, Black Hawk Down. He goes, your safety's not on. He goes, this is my safety. <laughs> <laughs> safety's <laughs> fucked me up. Excuse it's my safety. language, but I mean, damn, can't have your damn ammo in the gun. It's a big paperweight. Yeah, you know, what uh, are you going to do, knock the guy out? And you know what I also, I love my Marines that taught me three, and my Four wars, my sister's neighbor, Stan Douglas. Uh, World War II, Korea, no, yeah. That's, War, that's uh, a guy. You know, Bay of Pigs and then of, Vietnam. Of all the fat people, you know, Vietnam vets cry a lot. And, 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 and you know, justifiably, because right. they did get screwed over. But the ones that really got screwed over was the Forgotten War, Korea. More POWs in three uh, years than any other uh, war. Yeah, well, not only that, they came home and guess who they had to listen to? All the World War II vets telling them how they won the war. <laughs> oh, oh, that's shitty. Could you imagine? I never thought of oh, that. Yeah, they, they, oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Because Korea was right after World War II ended in 45. These Korea was 50 to 54. So these guys were coming home and the World War II vets, they were 40, 50 years old. And they would, they were sitting around these VFWs telling each other how they won the war. Uh, and these Korean War <laughs> vets, oh, you, you came from the Korean War? Isn't that the one we lost? <laughs> but oh then, no, that was a oh, tie. Then tell me the thing about the when armistice. Vietnam afterwards, the rich kids didn't have to go because Vietnam figured out how to get out of the draft. Never call it a war. It was it's an that. engagement or something well, like that. No, no. It's after World War II. So if you want to see, all wars have that. been fought with poor people. And how did they do that? How did Dick Cheney get out of the Vietnam War? He got five of them. I'm going for your hand. You got five college deferments. That's why I call him Dick Dickless Cheney. He'll send your kids to, to Iraq and Afghanistan, but none of his kids. The only... Well, then he didn't... You know, Black Hawk Down was about him not sending us those uh, armored cars in. Well, they were, they but, were all volunteers you know, then. Does rich kids volunteer? See, I believe in yes, the draft. Yes, some of them do. No, no, I believe in I, the draft. I do, too. I think I, well, they should reinstitute the draft. Because if rich kids went and served in the military, we wouldn't fight stupid wars. <laughs> See? Well, I think rich in, around age 12, they need to have a right wars. of passage. They'll let poor people's kids die for stupid wars, but they won't let rich kids die. When it's did the, the Vietnam white slavery. When, when did the way, Vietnam War end? Is when they had the lottery, and rich kids couldn't get a college deferment. The war ended just like that when rich kids might have to go and serve in the military. See, World War II, everybody joined. Rich people, poor people, actors. It was everybody. like your it pride. Was, it was it was a a, pride. an American war. After that, wars were fought with poor people. 
and people and the all volunteer army it is and here's the other thing i never thought of before and i heard it when you have a great america had a history when they fought a war they cut the how do you say the nuts off the military they shrunk oh, them right to now they just Don't like wussed boys down and well no no but they, i mean after every war civil war every deal they at world war one was over they shrunk the military down to nothing like, yeah after world war ii because the communist menace the war <laughs> machine kept going plus corporations found out it was a trough that was full of <laughs> yeah, money yeah, that nobody knew what was going. And, <laughs> oh, yeah. and now the new trough is the intelligence you know? well yeah the, yeah that's the new trough but they still aren't letting people save people's lives like that poor marine recently that had to take that medal of honor from the current residing uh, he knows that he could have saved his men, just as the m Vietnam often pr projects uh, not being able to go in and help people that got left behind. Mm -hmm. And that, that leaves you as a, with a survivor's scar is, that is a different kind of wounding. I mean, PTSD, get back, you know, shell shock and that kind of stuff to live with. Well, look at this intelligence deal. This guy Snowden, who told you what the NSA was really up to when they were lying to Congress and everything. This guy didn't have a high school education. They were paying him 120000 a year. <laughs> really? Yeah, he, that's what he was getting. He he wow. didn't have a high school had, education. Had he he was a computer geek. Just because he was a he case came, that worked? No, he started as a janitor with the CIA. <laughs> You're talking he, about Ollie? This is Snowden. This is Snowden? this guy Snowden that's in Russia right now. This is his <laughs> resume. He was, a, he was a high school dropout. He was a computer geek who went to work for the CIA as a... Uh, janitor he was a computer geek so he got on the computers with CIA quit them went to work for a intelligence corporation <laughs> this one that you'd never heard of and I forget the name of it but he, uh, was, and so he worked for the NSA but through a privatization corporation that's making huge money they pay him a hundred and twenty thousand a year without a high school education because the computer the intelligence community, because a lot of it's private, three to four hundred thousand yeah, people yeah, to work yeah. in they intelligence. Just are give our bases away. Private, no, no, private deal. And they've just shoved the money. They, mm -hmm. They've just shoved money to NSA and that to find these oh, terrorists. Oh, not just there, yeah. You, you, it was the communist deal during our deal. That's what shoved tons of money right, in the military. Right, 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 right. Now it's terrorists that are shoving oh, tons I know. of money into the intelligence. Born, it, I know. And, it's the new white slavery. Deal is, and what is NSA's deal was? They couldn't spy on Americans. It had to be you know, overseas now it suck up everything your <laughs> internet your phone oh god the That's telecommunications well business hmm. they were breaking the law telecommunications right a they nailed a it at&t opened up their san francisco building and let the nsa have one building where everything went through them that went through that building that was their main at&t terminal in san francisco a guy a guy actually uh how do you call it when they when they infiltrated tell, no no he told they call him um, what do they call him when they tell on the yeah he guy, reported it yeah, basically uh, he yeah but they call him something it, go Ellsworth on with the story one. it'll come to you yeah Ellsworth was one he did the Pentagon Papers right yeah and you know who did that one who New York Times gets credit but it was actually a Lutheran Church's uh, newspaper it really like, yeah and they got sued for two years by the US uh -huh. government Really? Almost bankrupt the, the them. church. Yeah, if you want to watch, Democracy Now has a has a deal where they just they just did it. These people are all now you know old and retired, but they get Ellsberg, they get the head guy of this church that had this newspaper that was the first one to write the Pentagon Papers. After they published it, then the New York Times published it. New York Times never got sued. This poor little Lutheran church <laughs> newspaper that Aww. actually published them, they hounded them and Aww. almost bankrupted them for two years, the United States wow. government. Wow, gosh Never darn. went after the New York Times. Yeah, prayer, uh, prayer, I tell you, can strengthen you from... Democracy now. It's, it's mm, a little left wing, don't get world. me wrong. Democracy now. But they will tell you something that corporate news. No, I know. Won't, Just like won't you should you. watch uh, CNN. That's how I found. So, no, no, CNN's even. No, is no, no. Uh, I meant um, in uh, Canada, yeah, Britain. Oh, BBC. Um, BBC. But that's 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 okay, government control. Okay, but still, it's yeah. better than American corporate media. And it's but, another perspective. But democracy. You can understand them. <laughs> democracy now. You can watch it on t online. Democracy now. Org. I know. They try to get do donations. Uh, 
Amy. No, no, no. Don't people. pitch for them. Oh, no. They are. They're great. I, okay. People left that, wing, but, uh, but people, they, no, they tell you they, news no, that corporate that news know. won't tell you. I mean, that's that's how I found, I like how I found out about low power FM stations is through them. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Yeah, that not, thing's going to be so much fun. One. And we need lots of young people to do oh, really cool no, music. I want DJs. And that's what DJs, I want. DJs. I want young So, you know, Iraq while you're in college, you can start, veterans. you know, helping each other with music because music and cars, American cars, and all the American made things that we can have toys, adult uh, toys. Yes. That makes Iraqi love, veterans fun. Yeah, fun is fun. Yeah, Doesn't I matter want, what no, age. That's are. what I want. I want. I want Iraqi and Afghani veterans to be DJs on our radio and cool. online stations.